Watch this very difficult case and learn how to get your dominant dog better with other dogs. One-year-old Malinois rescue. This dog is meeting Prince for the first time. This dog is going to meet a lot of dogs today. And he's going to go out a lot of dogs today. And we are going to let him know that he is not the biggest, baddest dog in the world, which he thinks he is. Is it because he's a rescue? Is it because he has a hard life? Maybe, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Watch this. Ready, tail stops and goes at Prince. Prince does a play bow and he goes at Prince. He takes kindness for weakness. He can't do that anymore. He is not a bad dog. He is a purely dominant dog. Some dogs are just born this way. That does not mean that we can let them attack other dogs. Prince is doing nothing except moving. So he's got a little bit of a prey drive as well. He's going to maybe have an une uneasy friendship with Prince, but he's not going to have an une uneasy friendship with all the other dogs he meets. So guess what? He's not the boss. We're the boss. The owners are the boss. You're the boss. That's what you got to do with your dominant dog. I'm going to show you how to do it. The cure for dominance is someone else being more dominant. It's best if it's done by the dog, but it can rarely be done by the dog. So it needs to be done by the owner. They may love you, but they don't think you're the more dominant. If this video has already helped you a little bit. Hit that subscribe button. He absolutely deserves to be put in his place. There's no doubt. There's zero doubt. Yeah. I'm not saying it's easy for people to watch, however. So I want your guys' input. I don't know. Can you can you act can you dog play bows in front of you and you instantly get the wor the, your body language is instantly the worse it is? Prince play bowed, and that's when his tail got stiff and he goes, yeah, what's up? When does he know that he needs to relax and not protect us? Protect you from what? Protect us and protect him, that he's going to be okay, that there's nothing. Oh. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I heard something yes. really strange because I always thought it was about they're trying to protect us. Right. But somewhere I heard they also feel like they might be in danger and they need oh, to know oh, oh. that we're going to protect <sighs> them. you got to first assume that he in fact thinks he needs protection. And I don't know if that's true. Okay. Based on that, I don't know that he's terribly worried about himself. I don't feel like this dog thinks he's protecting anybody. I don't feel like this dog thinks he needs protection. I believe this dog is dominant and wants to be dominant over all dogs. What's the cure for dominance? It's someone else being more dominant. It's the owners being more dominant because the owners are the only one that, that are going to always be there for these dog interactions. And another dog is 99% of the time not going to put this dog in his place, especially how hard he goes. And you're going to see it in a few minutes. Now, I liked this interaction from Prince. I actually loved it. Not from Prince, from both of them. They're quote unquote friends. Okay. They like each other. Now you're going to see it go bad in a minute. And Prince is going to deal with it in an interesting way. Prince is not going to go at the dog as hard as he sometimes does. I don't know why. You're going to watch it right here. He's going to go at Prince. For what reason? It's hard to say. It could be because he thinks he has Prince pinned up against the fence. And he's going to go at him right there. Prince stands up to him without going super hard at him. I don't know. Prince backs away a little bit. Then you're going to see Prince flip back around. You're going to see him have the... Look aways from both of them saying, listen, neither of us really want to fight. Big stare down, hard tail from him. And then you're going to see him kind of go into a move, right? A little back down, then some happiness from both of them. And at this point, we're pretty good. They have an understanding. Two dominant dogs have an understanding that neither of us really want to fight that bad. Also an understanding of, okay, the other one's not going to back down. So there is an uneasy friendship at this point. You're going to see him go at Prince one more time, but that's a weird situation where Prince flies by him and he's a little spun out. And then we have to sort of stop after that because his brain gets to a point where we got to stop. We took him right up to the edge and you'll hear me talk about that a lot, taking these dogs right up to the edge and then stopping just short, which is very important. So the learning aspect of this video is how to deal with dominance and unsocialized. He's unsocialized. So you as an owner, you got to get your dog, if he hasn't met any dogs or hardly any dogs, you got to get him around dogs safely. Fences, muzzles, leashes is the best way to do that because this dog is simply, and a lot of dogs, they're just not safe without those things. You have to have a recourse, as I say, or some sort of protection. All right, now the dog is going to meet 
we're just going to let dogs out. So this is the socialization. You can see his brain just kind of spins out. Now this isn't abnormal. His hair is up. Prince is also hasn't met that dog right there. So he's also worked up. But they have to get around dogs. And then you're going to see me clap and grab. He needs right here. Ready? Goes at Connery, the gray dog. I yell. And we're going to grab him. Why? Why don't I grab Connery? Connery doesn't have the problem. This dog has the problem. So who's more dominant? Him or me? I am. I'm the one that, you're the owner, you, you're the one that's around a lot. You've got to do this when, it doesn't matter their history. You can't, can't do that to other dogs. Now we're going to go to some original audio. Good boy. It's your friend. He, de he, de he has an emotional response. I mean, there's a visceral thing that happens. That's why I didn't stop it right at a freak out. I gave it a minute. <laughs> hey! Every time, bro. Every time. Sit. Every time. This is having an effect. Like the, the, the yell's the yell, but he is literally like going high and then like calming him down. And then the next freak out, that last fr freak out, it was a bark. That last bark, he literally, he, I, I was like, hey, and he's like, oh my God. Like he needs to be stopped from these fits. And then he's like pretty darn good. Stay there. He can meet him if he wants. Okay. Come on. Okay. Keep him there. Listen, it's the dog you got, man. We can help it. That helped. I am too. My God. It was, it was shock and awe. It was big. It was meant to send a message. That, that was meant to send a message. That was just as hard as you can go for his little body. And it was meant to just fully pin. And then the equal and opposite reaction was this. And it was meant to send the same message. Um, you don't do that when I'm here. And we get to, you don't do that when you're here. That's the only way to stop it. That dog's not going to stop it. Yeah. That dog might stop it. 99% of them are not going to stop. It was meant to be so big and overwhelming that, that no one can stop it, you know? And it was meant to send a message. Okay, let's take him out. Let's take him out. Okay, so we've hit the point. There's a point at which you just can't go anymore. Yeah. Okay, we've hit that point. We didn't go over the point, but we're right there. Or we gotta, we gotta stop. Okay, so that last rea Prince reaction yeah. showed us that. Good meet. Bandit, come. Scout. Yellow one. Scout, you you met a dog, you met a dog, yeah. yeah. You like this doggy? No. Alpha. Oh. Bro, sit your behind down. I'm softer. Yeah, the you actually heard it. There was a growl there. Yeah, he it's it's attitude, but I I got it. I, I did my thing. Yeah. I was shocking awe on him. I'm glad, but it's time to not be shocking awe on him. Him. You heard it? Did you hear it? Yeah. It was tiny. Yeah. And the lip, lip licked for a minute, and then I was soft. Hey, you can't do that. You can't do that to dogs that, have, that don't even look at you. Yeah. She didn't even look at him. He's got attitude. Yeah, he is like everybody in this room. He is not one thing. He is not a dominant jerky dog and he is not the sweetest mommy dog in the world. Like he is all these things at once. Yeah. And we can, we can, and we did say, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That golden did nothing to you. 
I realize you had a right. tough life. I don't, I kind of don't care. You can't do that to the golden. We did not force you up to the golden. We is, did, we. Is there uh, a reasoning behind that? Like why he would just. Dominance. Dominance. Uh, okay. the, the, did you see the, the action was a double leg to the head with, with as much push on the back legs as could happen in order to instantly flip the dog directly backwards to where the dog is here and he is on top of the dog. Mm -hmm. It was a perfect move by a professional fighter to send a message. That's what it was. It was, now it might be based in, on socialization, it might be based, it might be based in trauma. It might be based in all those things. At that moment, I don't care. Now, ne next time do we need to go slower? Yes. Yes, he can't be keep doing that because his brain goes Vzzr! and like the correction helped, obviously. And if he ever does it, we will do it again. But the answer is not let him do it. So in order to correct him, okay. like I just got to hold my, we, we, we shouldn't do it. He's a unique case that we don't want him spun out. It's good today. It was good today. You did this in control environment. You saw some stuff, even the thing I just explained to you. Mm -hmm was like, I think you're like, oh yeah, okay. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but like, we don't want to keep, we no. don't want to keep doing that. No. We gotta go slow. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad Prince stood up to him. I'm, I'm, you also saw when Connery came out, you saw like, or when the dogs came out, you saw just a wig out, like just his brain. Mm -hmm. It's not abnormal. Prince was, ugh, cause he hadn't met that one dog. Like dogs get like that. But he was very just like, ugh. And he needs, that needs to lessen. But like he, his brain went, Zzz! and we got to get that, that like, Zzz! out of his brain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the, the only way to do that is no dogs, is more dogs. And I liked that final smelling, the dog's tail was hitting him in the face. Yeah. And he was like going, oh, the dog smells like this. Oh, the dog has red hair. Oh, the dog, you know, he's learning at that point. We need more le slow learning okay. without the incidents. Okay. Have you seen that work? Like, does it's all I do. Oh, okay. It's 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 what does work. It's the the corrections for bad behavior coupled with the desensitization. My thing is threefold, and then we'll pass dogs. Okay. My thing is threefold. It is desensitization, which is this natural process of dogs that don't meet a lot of dogs learning about dogs, and then just going, I don't need to do my crazy big go at move. Okay. It is corrections from the owner and it is corrections from the dog. We tried all of them. Today, the corrections from me seemed to work the best and the, 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 the Prince standing up to him, I think worked to get them friends quicker than I think he went at Prince due to prey drive, Prince ran, due to the moment he was just very stimulated. Yeah. Like, but he's friends with Prince and that's a very good thing. Yeah, it, he is. they almost seem like, a, like a little pack right away. Yeah, a little pack, little buddies, uh -huh. right? That had this, this understanding of right. you don't mess with me, I don't mess with you, we're good. Then he freaked out on the run by. Mm -hmm. Prince ran in between them. Like, yeah. I get it, sort of. You still can't do it. Yeah. 